Two and a half weeks after massive flooding devastated parts of Metro Detroit, thousands of people are wondering if it could have been avoided. Thank you for joining us for Action News at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. Many are now saying the key person who can provide answers is not and has credibility issues. They're talking about the CEO of the Great Lakes Water Authority, Sue McCormick, who is still not publicly providing any new information about what went wrong. The authority also tried to prevent the media and the public from watching the meeting, only listening in on the phone. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner has been on this from the very beginning and was inside that meeting as it all unfolded. People here are furious. For them, it's all about accountability and the CEO of the Great Lakes Water Authority, Sue McCormick. They want to know, did their flooding have to happen? Transparency, no matter how bad, it's better to tell the truth because right now nobody believes her. This is the virtual Zoom meeting of the Great Lakes Authority board and CEO, Sue McCormick. The authority didn't share the link for us to watch and be able to show it to you. We had to get the link from sources. The media and public were only allowed to listen in on a phone line. McCormick said a week after the flood there were power failures and several pumps did not work in two stations on the east side during the heavy rain on June 26th. Yeah. Today Never only adding what influence. others have been calling Geo for, an inside and outside investigation for answers later, a lot later. We would expect these reviews to take 60 to 90 days. The board then went into closed session for more than two hours as the first lawsuit seeking damages has been filed. That storm drain blew up, the toilet blew up. Um, when you say blew up, what's that mean? The water up, backed up? Yeah, up from underneath. Take a look at thousands of people in the Gross Points and east side of Detroit documenting how the flood came in through the floor drains and sewers in the street because it had nowhere else to go. Here's water flowing right into a basement from the street. After the water authority pumps started working, this water receded, leaving behind massive damage, including inside the Ryan home more than 100 years old, original fixtures ruined. We can barely live in this. We've had to do mold tests. Um, we're having to do an asbestos test. Two of the six Water Authority board members say authority management needs to be much more responsive to the Says people, was, not know, listening in on just a phone line. Failure. They need an, uh, the opportunity to be able to be heard and to know that we're looking them in the eye and, and listening to them. You do have to review you know, if the flooding could have been lessened um, by having all the pumps operating, right? As we've been telling you, thousands of people have hundreds of millions in damage and they have found out they have insurance, but it covers very little. In Gross Point Farms, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.